Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one we're going to show you how to import uh, some of the swing and uh, rhythm elements from Logic Pro. Um, they've got a section where you can, you can apply uh, 16A and 16B, 16C and a few sort of irregular uh, swing and shuffle patterns. And we're going to show you how to apply them to uh, loops that you've got in live and we'll show you how to save that preset and make it available to you to use in the future. So to begin with, I'm just going to open up Logic Pro here. I'm going to create a, a new template, uh, empty project. Uh, just going to add a software instrument. I'm going to create that. And then I'm going to go down to the IO on this uh, track. Uh, if I add just a, an ultra beat, um, just so we can hear what we're playing. And I'm just going to bring in, uh, it's going to play a couple notes on the ultra beat. So if I just create ourselves a cycle region at the top here, which is just a loop. I'm just going to make a two bar loop. And if we right click, create an empty MIDI clip. And if we just loop that across the two bars, and if we double click and get a piano roll. And what I'm going to do now is just draw in some 16th notes. So if I just hold the Apple key and it's going to find a uh, note here and draw in our 16ths. Okay, so at the minute that's just playing 16s and it's just playing them in a, a rigid pattern, quantized a, a 16th division of the of the bar. And if we go to the top here, there is this quantized value. We can change all of the swing settings. We've got all these irregular ones here, 16A, B, C, D, E, F, and 8A, B, C, D, E, F, and all these tuplets. So if you want to apply that, just highlight these notes and click on one that we want. So say we want the 16A uh, swing. Just click that and that's that applied to that now. And what we can do simply now, if we go up to, uh, if we click on, click on this MIDI clip to begin with, go up to File, and if we go to Export Selection as MIDI File. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this, on the desktop and I'll make a swing folder and I'm just going to call this one 16a and then I'm just going to highlight them again I'm going to put another one say for instance maybe 16f I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go to file export selection as MIDI file I'm going to call it 16f And then you could go down and, you know, you can click any of these and do the same thing. You add your, your 8D, 8F, 8E, whatever, whatever you like. You can hear they've all got their, their own uh, unique swing pattern to them. And once we've got the ones that you've picked exported, you just boot up Ableton Live and if we just drop in a drum rack here under one of our MIDI clips so you can apply this really to, to any uh, drum track that you've got that you want to apply the rhythm to I'm just going to drop in a drum track or a drum rack rather and if I just bring in bring in a hi-hat here there's a closed hat and I'll just drop it under my drum rack and if we just browse to our swing folder that we just made on our desktop, and I'm going to bring in a 16A MIDI clip, and I'm going to bring in our 16F MIDI clip, or whatever you've, you've put in, and I'm just going to rename these 16A, 16F. And if you have a look, there's our MIDI information here with our swings already applied. And what we can do to these, we right click them and go to Extract Groove. We've got our 16A here and we can just save that. And then if we do the same to our 16F, Extract Groove. We need to make this a bit bigger and save it. So we've got our 16A and 16F and that's saved into our Grooves library folder. 
And you can put them wherever you want. Uh, you can make another folder and drop it in if you like. Um, so we can now get rid of these. And if we go to our drum rack, we've got our symbol. And we want to draw in our 16th notes. So if we snap at the 16ths, and if we draw these in, play that back. So that's a, a rigid uh, 16th there. And now if we just go to our 69, 16F, where we've saved these grooves, we can just drag in our 16A on top of that MIDI clip, and that'll apply the 16A groove. And if we want to play the 16F, that'll play the 16F groove. And you've got control over these grooves as well. You can, um, it's, uh, you can turn the, the timing down so that it doesn't affect it just as much. And you can turn a random amount down as well. But if you want it to, to stay true to the groove that you've just created, just keep the timing at 100%, keep the amount at 100%, and you can apply those grooves simple. Okay, so I hope this tech tip helped you out, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.